Thriller. The song is part of his sixth studio album of the same name released in 1982. It was written with the help of supporting composer Rod Temperton and produced by Quincy Jones. The theme originally conceived by Temperton as Starlight alluded to futuristic themes like Star Wars. Michael Jackson didn't like the concept and asked him to change all the lyrics, besides considering it as the main song of the album that would bear the same name. Temperton, annoyed, had to think of more than 200 different titles and, seeking to rewrite the lyrics, he was inspired by Michael's fondness for horror movies. The title he finally chose was Midnight Man, but the next morning, when he was about to deliver the demo, he came across a word that he couldn't get out of his mind. Thriller. The song begins with a bass and a synthesizer that imprint a powerful and very catchy funk sound, accompanied by sound effects like a door opening, thunder, footsteps, and a wolf's howl that emphasize the spooky atmosphere. Shortly before the song ends, the deep and mysterious voice of Vincent Price is heard, who merges a dark narration with the musical theme and closes with his iconic chilling laugh. At first, Michael considered inviting Alice Cooper for the narration in the song. However, the producer Quincy Jones' wife met Price, who worked with Cooper, and seeing his track record in horror movies, invited him to participate. Rod Temperton wrote the text for Vincent Price while he was in the taxi on his way to the studios for the recording, and once they started, Price finished his part in just two takes. It is said that he was given two options for payment for his services. The first would be a monetary remuneration of $20,000 at that moment. And the second a total percentage of the album's sales each year. Price chose the first option. But seeing the enormous success of the album and the abysmal sales figures in the following months, he regretted not asking for more money for that collaboration. Michael, seeing that the album was dropping from the top spots on the charts, planned to release the song Thriller as a single and music video, which would be directed by John Landis, one of his favorite horror film directors. At first, he faced criticism from Epic Records executives who didn't believe a song about monsters would be successful, but in the end, they authorized the project. Michael was afraid that the image of dancing zombies would become funny, so his main concern was to prepare dance steps that wouldn't allow people to laugh at them. He met with dancer and choreographer Michael Peters, with whom he worked on the choreography for Beat It, to solve that problem. During the making of the video, Michael demanded more and more production until it became so expensive that the record company refused to continue funding the project. Michael decided to produce a documentary about the process of creating the music video to get funding by selling it to television networks, managing to convince MTV to pay $250,000 for the exclusive rights to broadcast the documentary, as well as other entertainment companies. The release of the music video doubled the sales of the album, which was already very successful on its own, making it the best-selling album of all time and forever changing the concept of the music video by using massive choreographies and turning them into a serious art form. The video not only broke the racial barriers of entertainment at that time, but also helped save the record sales industry, which was beginning to lose ground to new technologies like television and video games and popularized the making of format for major productions.